What is up, everyone? I am Matt, also known as the Game Rebel, and we're gonna play through some more dust today. So, this might be the last batch. I don't know. I know I still got a little bit left to go. But for what we're doing right now, I am back down here at the Ceramon Caverns because we are going to take on the rest of the Cerulean Trials this video. Maybe do a little more over at Archer's Pass. And, well, I don't think there's much else I can do after that without having to go and get Dust's final ability. Anyway, for this next Cerulean Trial, we did need the Iron Grip for it. Because once we get in here to Cerulean Trial number 4, you'll see there's a lot of Ivy. No enemies this time, so Iron Grip required. So let's get in here. Watch this one, because it tries to fake you out with uh, that. Ah! And there is a lot of fire. And I do mean a lot of fire. I'm trying to, like, hurry this up because, uh, like I said, there's no enemies here, so... Not really anything you can exploit. Whoa! I already have burned enough. That should do it! I missed one. I freaking missed one. It was right there, too. I saw it. Uh Oh well, if I managed to get that one last lamp, I would have actually got the four star and I wouldn't have to come back here. Anyway, we got the warrior's pendant for this. I don't know if there's, uh, I don't know if I've seen it anywhere else, but, uh, it's gonna take my defense down a little bit, but look at that power. This is actually good to have. Okay. So with that done, I still can't believe I, I still can't believe I botched that one and missed one of the things. Anyway, not really much else I can do at this point. So, going back for the last time in this Let's Play to the Sorrowing Meadow. And while I was heading here, guess what? I got another level up. I might as well put it on defense since I just lowered mine. Yeah, I'm just getting level ups like crazy. I'm gonna be almost overpowered at this point. Maybe I should switch it to hardcore for the final bout. Alright, so after dealing with that necromancer, we are able to come up here to Cerulean Trial number 5. This one is going to be a little more difficult because you've got wind this time. But if you can master the wind, you shouldn't have any real issues. You know, to pull off a dust storm while, uh, an aerial dust storm, I mean, while riding the wind. Really helpful. Out of my way. I don't have time for a uh, small fry like you. And then this. Come on, I'm almost there. That's all of them and epic finish. Okay. Please. Yes! I will take it! And for our troubles, we get the Master Ring of Vigilance. Belong to a young warrior rewarded for his vigilance. Three times the item drop. It's gonna lower our, uh, well, actually, this will up our defense, and this might lower our attack a little bit. But think about it. Three times the item drop. That is going to be very good for if you're trying to grind materials. Which is what I do quite a bit. And this means I don't ever have to come back here again. Yes! Okay. So, 
there's only one Cerulean trial left to find. And it's by far going to be one of the most difficult to deal with. Where it is, I shall surprise you with it when I get there. In fact, uh, I don't need to cut out anything. Because it's in Archer's Pass. In fact, it's one screen up from where we are. Anyway, after I'm done with... Oh, right, I have to get a bomb through for this one. I figured I'd at least get the treasure while I'm here. But yeah, the last Cerulean Trial, number six, is here at Archer's Pass. This one's accessible after you get the underling. Why this one is number six, I honestly have no idea. If anything... If anything, the one in the Soaring Meadow should have been number six, because it's in the last area where there is a trial. Stupid... Stupid obbies. Stupid... Whatever those are! There. Should have gotten all of them. Now I can bring this thing down. And not accidentally take the teleporter. There. That's all that's really here is just the treasure key. Also, I didn't really think they were going to do like a lightning storm here. Anyway, uh, um, while I'm heading up, I have been noticing when I was recording that the quality really dipped in a lot of places. I am really sorry about that. I'm gonna try and work on that for this and hopefully future videos. Either, uh, by... Just... I don't know. Everything's still up in the air, though, because I... I'm basically gonna have this and everything else done before the 22nd when I get my wisdom teeth taken out. Anyway, right past this giant, when you come down here with the underling, down here, after dealing with these two bugs, over to the right is Cerulean Trial number six. Easy, but at the same time difficult. And there's a reason why it has such a low score. This is the one where you have to continuously go through all these and try to find as many of these lamps as you can while being quick at the same time. Like I said, it's really short. There's no way I got it. There's no way. Ah, oh, so close. I didn't show off everything though, but it just gives you a flak sheath, which is really just. Oh right, right. I just remembered. There is a treasure chest in here. Uh, not this way. I believe when I go through here. It's one of these. I think it's the green one. Nope. No, that wasn't it. Hold on. I'm trying to remember these uh, bit by bit, because... I only really got a chance to practice this one once. And I think I took a wrong turn again. Here? Hold on. Hold on. I think... Yes! This is it! So coming over here... And right down here where this white teleporter is... Treasure! An actual treasure chest within a Cerulean Trial. And it gives you a massive augment. Which, honestly, is just not worth it. Like, everything in this trial is just not worth it. Why... Why they did this, I have no clue. And why am I trying to complete this when I know that I've already failed? Y 
Yeah, this one can take a while if you don't know where to go. Oh well, I've shown them all off. And I show that I got another uh, four stars, so that's good. But that's it for the Sorellian Trials, pretty much. Again, I will be getting the four stars off screen. If I feel like doing a bonus video where I show all attempts of getting four stars, uh, sure. I'll maybe do it. I don't know. But if I just end it here, this is going to be a pretty short video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head up. I'm going to get the remaining treasures that are up there in Archer's Pass. And actually, instead of heading up, I should head down and take the teleporter. Okay. I've taken the teleporter. I'm going to ignore that uh, one thing that's down here. That we can't do until we've gotten a few more things. And believe me, I wish I could complete it. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot that uh, over here, where all the blobs are, with the double jump and the underling, we can get over here and pick up this set of three treasure keys. And that was it? Okay. That was it, apparently. I'll take it. Now let's just get up here, go to Archer's Pass, and then I'll maybe start making my way back to the Blackmoor Mountains. I would just take the way up to see Haley and Maddie. I would like to maybe try for that... I'm thinking one. You remember how I talked about that there was an achievement for bugging Maddie? I don't... I, I know I got it. I don't remember exactly what you have to do. Well, I kind of know what you have to do, it's just... It's weird, is what I'm saying. Now, there's a treasure somewhere around here, and I don't know where it would be. It's not up here, looks like. And we can't go in. That was it? That treasure key right there, is that really what was it? Oh, well, I'm here. Let's go bug the little kid. Hi there, Maddie. Nice to meet you. All right, then. And just suddenly lots of experience from him. How you doing, Maddie? Cray, that's just fantastic. I love the sarcasm here. What's the word, Maddie? I'll make sure to spread the good news. <laughs> How's the market treating you, Maddie? Good to hear, good to hear. <laughs> I just love how he's trying to get more and more sarcastic and all that, trying to strike up a conversation. Hey, Maddie, so about your sister. All right, well, I'm glad we had this talk. <laughs> Any more? Hi there, Maddie. Nice to. All right. Okay, that's enough. I think we got it. Once we get to when Dust tries to talk about Haley, I think that's it. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I do for you? Uh, let's see if there's anything I can get at this point. I don't think the Pen of the Marsh is useful anymore. And I know I don't have materials for that. But I think... Yep! I can get this! Need anything else? Hold on, we're not done yet. Now we can finally make the Master Ring of Focus. I wonder if the Master Ring of the Broken would be good for anything. Uh, sadly, you can't sell anything to her. Need anything else? Thanks, Dust. Don't be long coming back. Eh, gonna be a little bit, but... 
Anyway, I saw where that treasure key was, so I know where to go. Somewhat. The question is just... Oh. I think I have I think this one might actually need the double jump. Either that, or there's a secret passage or something. Or... Yeah, maybe there's a... Oh! Yep, that was it. So we've basically got everything at this point except for what's in there. That's pretty much it. I don't think there's much else I can do at this point that doesn't require, well, other things. I'm still bothered that I can't get everything in there. And... Yeah, that's just it. So, not really anything left I can do at this point. I kind of wanted to save... I guess I'll just go up. Thankfully, there's not much left that I need to worry about. I went the wrong way. And who knows? Maybe I'll be able to start getting some of those items again. Uh... Ooh... Me likey. Me very much likey. Yeah! I will take that! Cause look at my stats now! I pity almost anything that tries to come up against me. I think I saw reinforced metal there. Okay. Yeah, at this point, I'm just gonna head up here, kill everything, and I guess when I uh, get to where I last left off, I will stop there. So other than that, I guess I don't really have anything else. I was not expecting to finish up with the trials that quick. And I don't want to bore you guys by just going through it a lot and failing a lot. Because I kind of want to get on this. So wait, another hot dog. I can get hot dogs even up here anyway. Well, who knows? Maybe I'll find those materials as I'm going along. Uh... I see a beast spear, but that's not really what I'm looking for. I need wolf pelts. I need whatever those buffalo guys have. Those are the only two materials I need. Although, maybe I did. I got a wolf pelt. What else would a wolf drop? Your trends. Thank you. There we go. I only have one material left to get around here, and I think the rest are in the final level. So good. Also, once again, can I just gush about the music and all that? That sense of almost there, that final obstacle. Again, I just... I got another level up. Hold on, does... Does any of my stuff give me more experience? No! I'm just getting level ups left and right. Here, let's get max health. Just for the heck of it, because... I think at this point, I'm... At a high enough level where... I don't know, I, I, I just can't believe I got this high of a level so quick. I'm just so glad I don't have to go back into that cavern for anything. I think this is where I left off. Yeah, because in there was where we fought those three frights, and that's where I'm heading next. So, I guess I'm just going to stop her here. So next time, we are going to continue up the Blackmore Mountains and see if we can finally get some answers from Ginger 
and maybe find the Moonbloods at long last. Thanks for watching, guys, and sayonara for now.